All right, hello everybody. So before I continue with the alignment file um, videos here, one thing I wanted to do really quick, and this is definitely gonna be a very quick hitter video, is I wanna actually show you where your alignment file lives and how you can find it and back it up. And we'll take a quick peek inside of it so you can see what's actually in it, okay? So uh, open up. Uh, Windows Explorer here, and you want to find your system drive, so C in this case, and the folder you want to find now is Titan. Um, now, depending on your microscope, if you have a Talos, uh, this might be labeled differently, I'm not sure, um, but it's going to be in your system drive here. Open this, and then the folder you want is this, ALG, okay? So this contains your alignment files. So let me go back here really quick. Just a couple other things here, okay? So um, again, you can find your alignments panel wherever you have it located. I have it inside of a tab labeled alignments, of course. Um, and then if you click the file tab here, you're going to see a list of all of the alignment files that are in this ALG folder. Okay, so you can see right there. So in order to actually modify, save, or delete an alignment file, you have to be logged in as either supervisor or higher level than that, okay? So you can actually see over here, it has owners for these files, okay? So you can see the one that we've been working on, 200 kV underscore NRF, this was saved at the supervisor level. These other three were done at the service level, okay? So the files that are done at the service level um, cannot be overwritten and they cannot be deleted, okay? So if I wanted to see, see I can't delete this, okay? Now what I can do if I want is I can save this as another file and then modify that version, which is exactly what I did when I built this 200 kV underscore NRF, okay? But the ones that are done at the service level, you can't modify or delete or overwrite, um, again, unless you're logged in as service, okay? Um, if you wanna write your own alignment file, you can do that at a supervisor level. Um, if you're logged in at, at just a user level, you can load alignment files, but that's it. Okay, you can't actually save them, overwrite them, modify them, delete them. Uh, you do have access to the direct alignments, but but that's it, okay? If you're logged in at a user level. So we've been logged in at the supervisor level in order to update this alignment file and to run through all these alignments, okay? So I believe actually, if you're logged in as user, you're not gonna see any of these. I think it, with maybe the exception of gun, okay? Everything else will, will not be there. So anyways, um, back to this ALG folder. So I wonder actually if we search system, if it will come up. So if we just do ALG, yeah, so it actually, it comes up here. Um, so there's actually two of them here. There's a lowercase, And then there's this this uppercase one. So this is oh this is a log file. So this actually isn't the files themselves. Yeah, so this is the one here. So um, that's the other way you can do. You can just search your C drive for capital A L G, and it will come up that way. But anyways, so what you can do here is I recommend that you you back whatever files you want up. Uh, so you can literally just, you can copy, and then, you know, if you have, like, a, another drive here, a data drive here, we have this backup drive here, um, we have another folder here that says ALG backup, so actually, I'm going to do this here. Um, let's see, this says 08 alignment files, so these are some of the, yeah, these are ones that I've backed up. So actually, I will do this here, since I copied this, I will paste this here. And I'll, I'll put the date here in the tag so I know when it was, 24.08.15, okay? And yes, I recommend you do that. 
So if that something happens, you can reload the file. So let's just say, for instance, that we, we wanted to add this file back in to the alignments. So if we copy and paste this in here, it will not show up immediately in here, okay? So what you would have to do in order to repopulate this with the one that you put into the folder, you would have to actually close the UI and then start and then stop and then restart the server. And then that additional file will show up here. Same thing if we wanted to actually, um, well, we can delete directly from here, but same thing, right? If we were to remove it from here, uh, we'd have to do the same thing, start and restart, start and and stop and restart the server, okay? So anyways, yeah, it's a good thing to do, uh, especially if you're logged in at the supervisor level, because unfortunately, you know, somebody who's careless could very easily delete this or overwrite it or cause a problem. Um, we wouldn't be ordinarily logged in at the supervisor level, but the, the reason we are is because we can't get the GIF to talk to the microscope properly unless it's logged in at supervisor level, okay? So that's a necessary evil. With the Talos, we don't have a GIF on that. So for general use, that is only logged in at the user level, so we don't have an issue. We only use the supervisor account when we're doing uh, maintenance on the machines. All right, so anyways, let's take a look at what's in one of these files. So if we want to look at this guy, for instance, you can right click, open with, uncheck this, but you want to open it as, as just a notepad document and you can see what's in here. Okay, so it tells you um, the owner and everything. Okay, and so um, about one third of this file is actually for the probe corrector, okay? So this system has a probe corrector on it. So again, if you don't have a probe corrector, you're not gonna see any of this, but um, about one third of this file is actually for the probe corrector, okay? So you see where it says start probe corrector alignment file. So actually, if we scroll down through here, see if I can find it. Okay, so it's close. Okay, right here. So end probe corrector alignment. So actually, you know, it's more like 40%, I would say. 40% of the file is the probe corrector uh, alignment. So, um, and that's that's all through S-Core here, okay? So if we just wanna look at this really, really quickly here. So this actually has base settings for different voltages. So that the file is voltage specific. Uh, you'll notice like I put, you know, 200 kV in the file name. But as far as the probe corrector, it has base settings that are actually um, voltage dependent in here, okay? So you can see when we go through this, it's basically, it, it's nothing but like a, a table of basically values for different deflectors and optical elements in your microscope, okay? That, that's all the alignment file is, right? So you've got different deflectors, you've got different stigmators, you know, you've got different optical elements, and that's what you're doing here with, with this, okay? Uh, so, yeah, so these are base settings. This is at 160. Um, now, there's actually, there is some data for this, but yeah, so this is, again, for the probe corrector part. So um, if we actually go down to where this ends, where are you? Okay, so this is where the probe corrector ends. And so this, starting here, this is actually the part that is... Um, specific to to the voltage, right? So you can actually see, where is it in here? Uh, potential monochromator. It should be here somewhere. See, this is the, the monochromator alignment, right? Um, but I'm looking for where we input the voltage here and I'm not actually seeing it. This is the potential, that's for the monochromator. 
Okay, so here we go. Last used HT. Yeah, so this is where it's it's reading the voltage now that you had the system in. Okay. Okay, so yes, yeah, so you can see now here's, you know, this is for LM mode, right? Since we, we already did that, we did a line LM. Um, and again, right, so there's values here for the pivot points. There's values here for um, your different deflectors, right? So that, that all gets set into this alignment file, okay? So anyways, right, we don't need to belabor this. This is just what happens when you when you save the file, okay? So you can have an appreciation for this. Um, and that is very quickly just the 101 on your alignment file, okay? So with that, we will return, or I will return rather to actually running through the supervisor alignments now. All right, thanks everyone.